What is up you guys? I'm James from Chef Shifthouse and in today's video we're going to talk about snakes and my new one. Um, this ain't it though. This is Midas, a California king snake, just a regular coral banded, my favorite uh, actually. Um, so these guys are actually native to California. I have another pair of these that are het for albino from a good buddy of mine. Um, I had an albino female. I should have kept her. I ended up selling her. Someone offered me a bunch of money for her, uh, but I ended up selling it. But this snake I bought as a baby from a dude in a parking lot, and it was the second snake I ever owned. And it's probably wild caught, unfortunately. It pooped on me as soon as I picked it up. And let me tell you, they're poop. California king snakes, they musk. It's one like steamed broccoli. It ain't good. Um, but nevertheless, I washed it off, and here it is. Here he is in all his glory. Um, but I'm showing you this snake because, you know, this is a snake I bought as a baby, and next up I'm going to show you the snake I just bought, which is a baby. So let's move on to that snake. Alright, so this snake um, I just recently got, I think, last Saturday or something like that. This was actually produced by my buddy Glenn, who you guys know I work for. Um, so let's take a look real quick and let's see what we got. So right off the bat, super gorgeous animal. It's it's pink. It's it's pink with a stripe, right? Um, so let's talk about the morph of this snake, and then we'll get into the setup. Here, I even wrote it down because I'm forgetful. So it's an ice. I don't know if you can read that. It's an ice, which is lava times anery. You know that combo is called an ice. And then the tester is a stripe. And then this specific female is a hypo. And on top of that, it's the nicest, cleanest stripe. I've ever seen and he agreed you know there's a little bit of like notching here and there and then there's a little tiny bit of the tail that's not fully striped but other than that a gorgeous animal and of course it is a female um, so this will end up going with that male that I have for my girlfriend I'll take him out in a little bit but this girl just got her first shed and I believe that's her first poop as well um, I did offer her a frozen thawed pinky just because I had an extra one thawed out and I said, you know, why not? Um, but now that she's shed, I'll probably bring home a live pinky for her tomorrow. She's probably hungry for her first meal. So like I said, she was born about a week and a half ago. I was over at my buddy Glenn's house cleaning my snakes, cleaning, his, cleaning my snakes, cleaning his snakes like I usually do. Feels like they're mine. I'm over there all the time. Um, I was over at my buddy Glenn's house cleaning his snakes as I usually do. And he knew, we, we both knew I was waiting for this clutch to hatch out so I could pick a female for the male that we had that's a yearling. And I said, hey, it, did that hatch yet? Or are we still waiting on that? And he goes, he goes, you know, it's been a while. I, I, I don't know if they're going to hatch just because of how long they've been incubating and they haven't hatched yet. And he pulls it out and they all hatched. So right then I had my pick of the litter and, you know, there were two ice tessera hypo females that looked just like this. But she, her, her stripe was just a little bit nicer, and I think she was a little bit lighter in color as well. Um, so I picked her out. And, you know, the hypos are really hard to tell, especially as, as babies. Um, I believe it gets easier as they, as they become adults, as the pattern kind of brightens up and then lightens out a little bit. But this girl is going to be awesome breeder. And, you know, in a couple of years, by the time she's sized enough, I'll have produced two or three corn snake... Uh, not clutches, two or three years worth of corn snake breeding behind my belt, and hopefully I'll do her some justice. So this girl needs a name. I, I was going to have my girlfriend name it, but I don't think she bothers too much with it. You know, she likes him, but she's very indecisive on names. So why don't you guys leave a comment on the name, and we'll pick one out. This right here is her boyfriend. And like I said, he's about a yearling. Uh, let's take him out. He is an ice tessera, I believe. And look at him. He just gets better and better with every shed. He was really purple when we first got him. Um, kind of like what she is right now. Oh, and he's a lot wiggly. You can tell I don't hold him very much. I don't get a lot of time to hold my snakes just because, you know, at my day job, I work overtime. And then I go to Glenn's and hold his snakes as well. So... You know, his stripes, you know, it's not great. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, but he's definitely gorgeous. He's getting a lot of pink influence towards the front and uh, lots of yellows and stuff. But, you know, him and her together, theoretically, everything should be ice tester that comes out. And 50% will be hypo. And, 
you know, they'll all have that beautiful stripe and hopefully we'll, we'll sell them for some good money. I mean, a clutch, a, a clutch of 10 could be a couple grand, honestly, but you know, I'll probably keep another female back that first year, uh, maybe another hypo or, or even a pair of, uh, hypo ice tesseras and then you know in a couple of years i'll add the females to make it a trio and i'll even replace the male with a hypo who's who's possibly got a better stripe we'll see you know i don't i, I might not want to do that just so that i'm not getting 100 percent all the same babies we'll see and again they are corn snakes so if i hold a couple back and breed them to the parents they might have some other random genes pop out because corn snakes ball pythons leopard geckos all happen to have tons of heads in there you know any any given animal she's going crazy or he's going crazy any given animal can have tons of heads um i need to hold my snakes more that's what this is telling me this is a corn snake corn snakes are super calm that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna end this video and hold on my snakes anyway i'm james from james jeff Tiles. hope you guys enjoyed this video hope hopefully it uh was a nice little update i'm excited for that girl like i said she needs a name I don't even know if she named this, if my girlfriend named this one, but nevertheless, this will be a future pair.